Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Usman Ali and we will discuss accounting for uncollectibles in this video. The purpose of offering credit sales to customer is to encourage them to buy our product because it increases our revenue but on the other side of it, it also increases the risk of uncollectible which means that there is always a doubt, there is always this threat, a risk factor that we may not be able to recover all of the money from the customer or a part of that money from the customer. We call that as uncollectible or bad debts. Now that bad debts, uh, how the bad debts are treated in the field of accounting. So let's discuss that one. We have two methods of that, the direct method and actually the indirect method. Now the direct method is not a highly encouraged method actually, uh, but it is a method one can use. So inside this method, what actually we do is, first of all, we need to make sure that we are 100% sure that the money which I'm about to write off, the account receivable which I'm about to write off is, I'm sure that it's not coming back, okay? And for that, what I do is actually, I debit the uncollectible expense account because it's an expense account, so increase in expense will be debited. And in contra to this, I'm going to credit the account receivable with the amount of money that I expect that I may not be able to recover. It could be all of the money which the customer owes us, some of the money. So it depends on situation. So that's how we do it. But it's not a highly recommended one because it's like a one step entry and within one step you write off the whole account receivable, which is not highly recommended. The one it's recommended is the indirect method. We also call that as an allowance method. So an indirect method or an allowance method is actually a two-step process in writing off an account receivable. In the first step, we actually just record the uncollectibles and we do not write off or delete the account receivable. Then in the second step, we delete it, means we write off the account receivable, okay? Now in the first step, first, we recognize something as our uncollectible that okay out of let's say fifty thousand dollar which the customer will pay us out of that i believe using the scientific methods of that calculation that uh, i we may not be able to collect two thousand dollar and the remaining forty eight thousand dollar will be recovered from the customer so how this two thousand dollar is calculated that's the next video actually it's the next numerical aging sh schedule that we will do so for time being we are only doing uh, ref scoping the entries of it so let's focus here the uncollectible account expense will be debited and the credit of this account would be a special kind of a contra asset account we name it as allowance for doubtful account so it's a special purpose account and the amount will be credited to the allowance for doubtful account. So in the ledger of the allowance for doubtful account on the credit side, $2,000 will be written there. So it means that uncollectibles are recorded. Okay. So on one side, the uncollectible expense account debit will go to the income statement. And on the other side, the allowance for doubtful account, $2,000 credit will go to the balance sheet current assets. And we will write it right under the account receivable and we will minus this $2,000 from whatever the total amount of account receivable is given. Then we will wait. It's possible on the same day or it's, it's normally we, we wait more days, more months till the day that we are 100% sure that the money is not coming back. And it is that day that, that we should get rid of such an account receivable. So what do we do is we credit the account receivable. So a credit in account, a crediting an account receivable means finishing an account receivable. Decrease in asset is credit. So we credit the account receivable $2,000. Now what should be debited here? We will debit the same allowance that we created in the first entry. So in the first entry, in the ledger of allowance for doubtful account, on the credit side $2,000 was written. Now in the second entry, because of the second entry, the allowance for doubtful account ledger will have a debit balance this time, like a debit 2000. So 2000 credit, 2000 debit will cancel the effect of each other and the account will finish. So that's how we actually apply the indirect method. We also call that allowance method. And this is the method which is used actually. So 
The beauty of the indirect method is it still gives us a chance that before I write off an account receivable, before that I delete an account receivable, it still gives me a chance to wait and verify that just to make sure that the money is not recoverable guaranteed. Because it is possible that sometime the money is recovered even if it is written off, especially if you are using the direct method where it does not separate itself in steps. So the whole recording and write off is done within the one step. So there is a there is always a chance that even the the those account receivables which has been written off was recovered and then the, you need to do the reverse entry. So in direct method, the reverse entries will be more as compared to in the indirect method. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen, this was the accounting for uncollectibles. Thank you very much. Stay safe.